Good morning. Good morning. It's really great to see everyone here, and thank you to Allison uh, and the entire Live On team for this honor. Um, I usually don't go uptown. I represent <laughs> Lower Manhattan. But for this occasion, I had to take the train and walk a few blocks to get up here. Um, I'm just like really so touched um, and I, that I got to hear Melissa, your presentation. And to me, I'm a senior myself, and I'm taking care of my mom, who's 90 years old. And so a lot of us, you know, who are caregivers and, and you know, got to the age of uh, a lot of the benefits senior tickets at movie theaters and half price metro card we've earned it we were blessed to be here right and that's what we tell a lot of the younger folks like count your blessing support our senior because it's a blessing to get there and to see all the seniors in all the centers that are so active um, when i visit them i'm just amazed that a lot of them still have something to contribute. And one of the misconceptions is that, well, once you retire, you, <laughs> it's over. Or some of the books say, well, once you get to 50, forget it. No, seniors are still part of the future. A lot of programs in the city, a lot of our senior center would not be able to operate without senior volunteers, right? I see all the directors out there. You need them. And especially the creative energy. I've seen senior volunteering at the center doing creative stuff. And one of them that I remember was, um, this was in the downtown in um, Hamilton Madison House, um, the center of 100 Go Street. I love dragonflies and I was amazed when, two, when the senior made dragonflies out of I don't know nylons and beads they were so gorgeous they gave me two of them and it's sitting right on my desk in my office and the paper fold that some of them did I have a boat a dragon boat in my office that's out of folding you know the red envelopes for the Lunar New Year all that creativity and some of them are volunteers you know, when we were younger and when they were younger, they had to work. They didn't have time to do all these creative activities. They had to take care of family. Now that they retire, guess what? All that creative energy comes out in the senior center. And that's why it's so important for us to support it. And then the city council, thanks to my speaker, Corey Johnson, and also uh, Jimmy Van Bramer, who's chair uh, of the cultural committee, for the support for the Sukasa program so that our seniors can really unleash their creative energy. And part of it too is when I saw this presentation, it reminded me of one of the programs at Project Open Door. It was a storytelling program. And one of the senior who was an elderly gentleman participated and he was telling his story and he got so emotional because for all his life, he never had a chance to express his feeling of being an immigrant and all the struggles and, that he went through. But in that program, he was able to unleash that. And it was just something amazing. And I just hope that we will continue to support our older adults, our seniors, and all the supportive services. And one of my job is to Department for the, uh, I mean, uh, for the chair of the aging committee working with DIFTA, working with DCLA and working with our speaker is to make sure that we fight for more funding for senior services, yep. right? Because right now, I know a lot of providers here, as you know, the budget for DIFTA is still less than half a percent. Yep. Come on. So working with the commissioner, uh, we're going to try to, I said at least 1%, at least double it, right? That, that would be a good start. So, so we got to really work towards that. And the good thing is that our number is growing. <laughs> and we just have to be visible and get that message out there. 
that we are still part of the future. Don't write us off because we still have a lot to contribute. So thank you to all the funders, all the service providers, all the artists and organizations for really helping to create all this wonderful innovation, creative energy in our city. Thank you. <laughs>